Welcome to Take a Lap with Mike Vermala. I'm Mike Vermala of Las Vegas Sun. You know this guy, TJ Otzelberger, head coach of your running Rebels. <laughs> coach, thanks for letting us do this this year, taking your guys and yourself out in a, a golf cart. Now, I know that at South Dakota State, you had your own little golf cart program. We did. TJ's Trivia Taxi. South Dakota State, Jackrabbits men's basketball team, all right? Jackrabbits is, is obviously our mascot. Yep. I, I watched it. I went online and I watched it for this. It was all right. <laughs> so did you go back and watch the film in preparation for this? You know, uh, I didn't watch the film in preparation, but I know that you and I working together as a team, we can take this to a whole nother level. So we're going to learn from that experience and build on it here today. Your first press conference, your introductory press conference, you came in on a helicopter, um, flying through the city, landing right outside the Thomas Mack Center. What was that like? Uh, it was exhilarating. It was, uh, you know, I, I remember taking that last turn as we came into the landing and then uh, getting a little bit choked up when uh, you see all the people, everybody out there. And then I did get a little teary eyed when I saw my wife, Allison, and my three kids standing there. And what a surreal moment it was. And then you get off the helicopter and you're walking down a red carpet, which I'm not a fancy guy or I'm not uh, into the flash all the time, but it was neat. You have an origin story that I've heard uh, and read a few times times that there was no youth basketball team growing up for you to play on so you started your own team how much of that is true well it's all true but the part i guess i shouldn't say it's all true the majority is okay. uh the part that's not true it, it wasn't that there wasn't opportunities it was there's two teams and i got cut from both of them <laughs> so that part of it uh is not true is me there was options i just wasn't good enough for those uh the other part of it i guess that's not true is i didn't coach the team but I had a Little League baseball coach who was a retired high school coach who had won a lot of games. Uh, he was in his late 60s and had just retired and had really missed coaching. The rest of it is absolutely true. It's a pretty neat story. Great foreshadowing for this opportunity. You're from a, a baseball family. Yeah. Like your dad was uh, involved in the game. You're named after a baseball player. Yeah, my dad uh, was a great baseball player, played college baseball at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Had me on traveling teams when I was a kid and uh, just really spent a lot of time uh, hitting ground balls or fielding ground balls and hitting batting practice and out on the field and out in the batting cages working on my game and that was my dad's background so for me um, you know baseball I learned a lot of life lessons when I was younger at the same time my rebellion is I wanted to play basketball when you decided you chose basketball over baseball are you <laughs> sure that you made the right choice uh, I am you still got the swing uh, I don't think so but uh, I'm not afraid to give you it a try, try it yeah we'll yeah. give it a whirl let's go all right yeah Ah, sorry about that. Oh, a little high. Get in the zone. Get out of here. There's a charm. <laughs> yeah, we can walk off on that one probably. Okay. Skip the second one. <laughs> I blame that on my pitcher. How do you feel you did with the, the home run derby right there? You know, I think the uh, first time I probably swung a bat in, you know, 10 to 15 years. That, uh, that sounds like an excuse. And as a coach, I know that you're not into excuses. So no, was, I, you know, I'd say, we, you know, the first pitch uh, was, was fair. So we went back up the box, got a single, got on base, leadoff hitter, what you want to do. Uh, the second pitch I never would have swung at because it was way high and out of the zone, but I didn't want to embarrass you. We're working here as a team. Uh, so we fouled off, made solid contact. But like any good hitter that hits in the three hole, we're going to go big fly, take you uh, out uh, well over the fence, uh, make sure we came out with a walk off home run to finish the game. Well, you did it, coach. You took a lap around the Thomas and Mack Center, you took a lap around the bases with your home run, and uh, that's it. Thank you for stopping by and taking the time with us. Absolutely. It was a blast. Thanks, Mike.